Hey all, welcome to Programming Knowledge. This is the second tutorial of Py PyQt, which will be looking at setup and the initial steps of doing a program, which is the process of doing a program. So let's now start off with uh, what we have seen in the last tutorial. We have seen what is PyQt and what are the things available in PyQt, like how how we are how we are going to use that PyQt libraries in order to make sure that uh, we create a good graphical applications along with the support of backend systems and graphical controls so let's now go ahead and uh, set up the PyQt by following the three steps the first step we are going to do is like we'll go to this uh, mentioned website which is https colon double slash pypi dot org slash project slash pyqt of five so we are going to type this address in the like in google chrome and then uh, uh, after the website opens like we'll be having a installation tab in that we'll find the command called pip install of pyqt5 so we are going to use this command in uh, anaconda command prompt line or python command prompt line uh, like we are going to use this command to install the pyqt library which will enable us to create the programs for creating graphical applications so let's now go ahead and uh, like set up the PyQt by following the steps. As I've already opened the web page, as you can see. So here you, there are so many tabs available. You can see the project description. Then you have author, license, documentation. Documentation. If you want any documentation of the PyQt, you can just download it from by clicking here over here. Then, as I said. Under the installations tab, we have PY, PIP install of PYQT5. So we are going to copy this and let's install the PYQT library. So it's it's going to take some time as we are uh, downloading like we are going to install the pyqt right so it's downloading from the website and it's getting installed so it will take a little bit of time so we are going to wait uh, for this to uh, uh, to get installed after that like we'll start creating the first program So here we go. We have uh, like installed the PyQt uh, five uh, library file, and uh, now let's go and uh, look at the sample code for creating a sample application with, a, with an example. So where were we? No. What we are going to do? We are going to discuss a sim for creating a simple GUI application. That is the steps. So therefore, there are five steps involved in creating a simple GUI application. So I'm going to create a simple GUI application in which we are going to display a window along with a header called PYQT5 simple window in which you'll be having minimize, maximize and close option button. The close option tab. Now let's go ahead and uh, check out like we'll start discuss about the code that we are going to uh, use for creating that application so these are the five steps we are going to use for creating that simple app first we'll import pyqt module in which we'll be having certain things that needs to be imported for creating the application followed by we'll be defining a method in this method we'll define the size uh, like top down right left all the steps will be defined over this method and the third step we are what we are going to do is we are going to define a separate method for the title which, we are, which is going to which is going to be displayed on top of the screen. Next, we are going to display the application by using the show method, which is a, which is a word called show. We use that to display the application. Lastly, we are going to create the main method to run the application. So these are the five steps uh, required to create that simple G application. Now let's go ahead and discuss one by one uh, what are the steps that are going to be defined inside this. First, we'll discuss about the import py, pyqt module. Let's go give, go ahead and check out that. So here we go. 
this is the first step we are going to do like we are going to import pyqt module inside this we, inside this we are going to define three things first we'll uh, import the sys which is a system followed by we are going to import q application and q widget from pyqt5.qt widgets that will be used and lastly we are going to import q icon which is available in like from pyqt5.qtgui which comes under graphical user interface so these are the three things we are going to define under import pyqt module let's go ahead and see what is the second step second step as i have told earlier is defining a method so here in this method what we are going to do we are going to set the title pyqt5 simple window and along with that we are going to define the left top with height and lastly initializing the ui which is init ui by using the self keyword so here we go like as uh, the as we follow the common rule which is first we create the class so i have defined the class as uh, and class name as app and inside the parentheses i have uh, called on the q widget which I have imported from pyqt5.qt widgets then my, then i have defined the like the method has been defined as initialized by using def, def underscore underscore initialize which is init and inside that self keyword no and uh, super method has been used followed by title left top with height and lastly initializing ui so we are going to do uh, like write the code for these things in defining a method so what is the third thing we are going to do we are going to define a method for title let's go and check out the define a method for title so inside this i am going to use initial uh, the method as initui and inside the parentheses i have used the keyword as self so by using the self keyword what i am going to do self dot set window title as self dot title which is the title will be taken which is self dot title as pyqt5 simple window that will be displayed inside the window title followed by what i am going to do i am going to use self dot set geometry and inside the parentheses i am going to call self dot left self dot top self dot width and self dot height which is 10 10 640 and 480 So these are the things we are, I'm going to define inside the self geometry, and lastly I'm going to use the sh, uh, the last method, which is uh, the fourth method, which I have defined as displaying application. You can show method. So I have used the show method as self dot show to like create the application. And lastly, we are going to use the main method to run the application. Let's go ahead and check out the main method. so i have created the main method by defining if underscore underscore name underscore underscore equals to equals to main and inside that i have used the object called a app app equals to i have used the q application which we have uh, uh, used in import pyqt module which we have taken from pyqt5.qt widgets so what will happen i have used the q application inside that system that uh, this dot argv which i have you which i'm going to pass on and lastly i have created an uh, variable called ex inside that i'm going to use the app uh, like method which is app method and lastly i'm going to exit uh, the program by using app dot execute underscore or followed by the package so here we go no like what will happen after running this program a simple pyqt uh, like the window will be opened along with the icons of close minimize and maximize uh, with the header which is pyqt5 simple window which we have defined so this is the overall code uh, for getting the output as expected as output as a pyqt5 simple window as you can see first we imported then we created the class then we defined the method inside that we have defined the title left top with height and lastly uh, like initializing ui 
I and I to UI. Then followed by for window title, we have uh, defined the method as in init UI, and inside that we have used the self keyword and uh, set the window title and uh, taken the self dot title which we have defined pyqt by simple window inside the parentheses of set window title. Then we use the geometry and called on the self dot left and self dot top, self dot width and self dot height, which is 10, 10, 6, 40, and 480. And lastly, we have used the show uh, method to like run the, uh, display the application. And uh, inside the main method, we are going to run the application by using the queue application and uh, inside the parentheses as following by sys dot argument, which is ERTV. And uh, we did a, some, like, like a variable called ex inside that we stored the app. And uh, lastly, in the system, exiting the system. So here we go. After running this up code, what will happen? This will be displayed. Now let's go ahead and run the code. So before running the code, I would suggest you to install the PyQt in uh, PyCharm if you are using the PyCharm ID for running the code. So for doing that, you need to go to settings. And go to project interpreter, and uh, you'll have PyQt5 and PyQt5 save and PyQt5 steps. You need to install all these three packages by just clicking, by just double clicking on that and clicking on the install package. Once you are clicking on install package, the package will get installed. So, in order to get these things, you need to do, you need to work on the terminal, which is by clicking on that and providing the code as. PIP install PyQt5 5. By doing so, you will get installed your PyQt5. So let's go ahead and run the code. As we discussed in the last tutorial, there are five steps for creating a simple window app. That is, the first step is import PyQt module, where you need to where you will be importing the system. Followed by you'll be importing Q application, Q widget, and Q icon from pyqt5.q widgets and qtgui. Let's copy these and run the code. Here we go. I'm copying it and I'm going to paste in IDI. So here we go. We have uh, used the required libraries. And the next step, what we are going to do is we are going to define a method where we will define the title, left, top, width, and height, and followed by creating a one more method, uh, creating a method called init UI. So we will go. We are going to copy this and paste the code accordingly. Here we go. So what happens over here? We have opened the class and uh, use the queue widget which we have imported inside the app parentheses and. Uh, Define the method called initialize, which is init underscore underscore init underscore underscore. And inside the parentheses, we have used the self keyword and use the super class to make sure to have the accessible of title left top with height uh, in the method of init UI, which we are going to create it now. So this is the first method we have created it, in which we have defined title left top with and height. Now we are going to define the second method which is uh, which we will be defining the title and uh, using the self dot title self dot left self dot top self dot width and self dot height which we have defined in the first method of uh, initializing like define uh, definition of init so let's go ahead and copy this code here we go so we have finally defined the init ui which is referring to this so we have defined the init UI and uh, inside the parentheses we have used the self keyword and by using self dot set window title and inside the parentheses we have uh, ref we are referring to this PyQt5 simple window which is the header of the window and followed by by using set geometry we are defining self dot left self dot top and self dot width and self dot height which have been defined in the first method which is this one dot left or width and height and lastly we are going to use the self dot show to make sure to enable the uh, the window app and we are going to 
create the main method in which we are going to define the app and uh, a variable called x in which we are going to store the app method app class and uh, lastly we are going to use the sys.exit which is system.exit and inside the parentheses we are going to uh, like call the app which is this queue application and system.argv so this is referring to this uh, sorry this is referring to this app dot execute underscore and followed by closing the bracket let's go ahead and copy this code and paste it over here so here we go We'll just make some arrangements. Here we go. We have uh, made the arrangements and defined the if as well. So we have defined the main method, and uh, inside the main method, we have created a, an object called app in which we have uh, used the queue application which we have imported from uh, pyqtify.queue widgets. And inside the parentheses, we have uh, forwarding the sys which we have imported. Uh, dot argument which is ergv so here we go and then uh, lastly we have uh, created a variable called x in which we have stored the app and lastly we are going to execute the app by providing sys dot app exit and inside the parentheses we have forwarded the we have called on the app which is this dot execute underscore back by closing the bracket let, let's now go ahead and run the program and uh, see whether we get the window in which we have the PyQtify simple window header. We are going to run this uh, program. Let's now go ahead and run the program and look for the output. Here we go. We have got the output. It is a PyQtify simple window and with along with minimize, maximize and the close option. So we have created the simple uh, PyQt5 uh, like simple window using PyQt5. So that's it for today. Uh, meanwhile, I'll explain uh, the code what happened. So in the main application, we have called on the app. So what will happen? It will come over here like it will print out the PyQt5 simple window as a header along with self dot left top with an height of the 10 10 6 40 and 480 and inside the init ui we are using the set window title and set geometry inside that as told earlier which is self dot title top left with height and uh, everything like we are going to define it inside the parentheses and we are going to use the show self dot show to make sure to enable the window so here we go we have got the output which is a pyqt5 simple window here we can maximize then minimize and uh, at the end of it we can close the application also so that's it for today thank you for joining with programming knowledge see you in next tutorials bye guys